So just, this is a potpourri. The SARC Scientific Steering Committee, that's our executive committee, and we would welcome, we would be delighted to incorporate two additional members to this committee. So we're encouraging applications. We're gonna follow this with a email blast to those who are registered and other, other folks who are connected with SARC. Um, and let's see, for, for those who are here, I know I, Sandra's here, of course me, Scott, Stephen. Uh, is anybody else here from the steering committee, Stephen? Okay, those are the folks, if you would like more information at the coffee break, please talk to any of us. But here's the charge of the steering committee. Again, it's the SARC Executive Committee. Concept reviews, that Sandra and Laura Davis have been adeptly leading those forward. New clinical trials and importantly, post hoc studies. We get quite a few applications for use of NGS data sets, radiomics, clinical follow-up, biomaterials helping to set the conference agendas, such as this conference, and then we'll come back later today to the Career and Catalyst Awards. We have a separate committee, which I'll show for the Career Awards, but the steering committee then gets involved in helping to decide uh, whether we can do more or do less in support of those, and new SARC initiatives. Okay. And we're, we're, we would particularly welcome, just we are deep in medical oncologists in our committee, which is great at present, we would particularly welcome folks who are early career, somebody from pediatric oncology, a surgeon's perspective. Those would be areas where we're particularly keen. Okay, so again, we will, you could, you could send a note to me uh, if you're interested, but we're going to do an email blast and we're looking for responses short by Thursday, June 15th. Your name, your institution, your expertise, why you would be interested potentially in serving on this executive committee, and then a short bio sketch or a CV. Okay, any questions about that? No, again, we, we'd love to talk to you at the coffee break. Okay, the, the, the Career Development Award, just to say a word about that, this year we had 19 letters of interest and in stellar group. It's a painful process to narrow those down to finalists who submit five page applications, and unfortunately we have, I mean, fortunately we had funds to support an awardee. Unfortunately, it's only one individual, and that individual is Don Trong from MD Anderson with a project on therapeutic efficacy of targeting androgen receptor in desmoplastic small round cell tumors. We're particularly happy. I think he's the only, secondly, second PhD non-MD awardee in the history of the career awards. The first was Seagal Kadok, who obviously has done well. And uh, he was a star as an undergrad, getting his PhD in biomedical engineering at Arizona State, and now is doing the spectacular work, not just desmoplastic small round cell tumor, but liposarcoma with Joseph, Joseph Ludwig's group at MD Anderson. Uh, and what, one thing that we want to mention about the career awardees is that starting this past year, they've become members for the duration of their awards of our science committee at SARC, which is the Discovery Translation Committee. So Lily Gunther, who is here, is the current year's career award, and we'll hear from Lily later today. Likewise, the Catalyst program, which Kayla founded, the awardee in that program becomes a member of the Discovery Translation Committee and gets to be part of the science discussions and planning at SARC. And we're just gonna highlight one example of such an effort, which comes back to, Bill, a few of your comments, which is we've seen an unmet need. We have different enterprises that link clinicians in the sarcoma space, but for those who are doing mechanistic science, for those who are early career to be able to network with each other, we haven't had such a forum. CTOS was founded with the idea that science would be one of the jewels in the crown, and I think it is, but it's a big meeting. It's primarily clinical. And there was a meeting that Lee Hellman and I started small about 15 years ago now, which was sarcoma biology. We eventually had AECR take that over. And then another meeting which influenced us hugely called Fortress in Europe, which is about 120 people, very interactive, more, a little bit more of a translational clinical focus than we were after. And so we took all of those things, our prior experience, this was Brigitte Wiedemann, uh, Ping Chi, Liz D'Amico, and myself formed an idea which then our, our SARC Discovery Translation Committee moved forward with. 
and the first meeting will be mid-September 14th, 15th at the National uh, Cancer Institute. And this is two days. The, the main sessions are all mechanistic science, sarcoma biology, not because we don't care about translation and clinical, but because we really think that those folks don't have so much of a forum, pan-sarcoma, adult pediatric, to get together, okay? And so I'm, I'm bringing that up because we're now at a point we're going to announce this in the next two weeks, and we would particularly welcome applications for people who are early career, doctoral students, clinical fellows, postdocs, first two years of faculty. Uh, we've structured the program with quite a few people who are established investigators. They usually have one foot in the lab, one in the clinic, although some are PhD onlys, and we want to now enrich for early career folks. So if you go to the SARC website under meetings, You'll find the agenda for that. Again, it's not public. I mean, we, we aren't promoting it yet, partly because the wonderful folks who've provided sponsorship for this meeting and who are making it possible, pilot projects for our breakouts, which have a lot of structure to them and deliverables, uh, Young Investigator Travel Awards. We want to add those to the pages before we really make this public, okay? So again, we have quite a few members of the uh, of the SARC Discovery Translation Committee who are here today, uh, Seth Pollack, Ping Chi, myself, Kevin Jones, that's just for starters, Kayla. <laughs> so again, at Coffee Break, we'd love, if you want to hear more about this meeting, we'd love to tell you, but any, any help you can provide in reaching out to folks who are especially at the postdoc stage, who are early career, uh, but who have a sense for what sarcoma is, We'd be grateful if you would steer them towards us. Thank you.